Hi friends, thank you so much for being with us again this weekend in The Junction. All right, we're in the month of March and it's a new curriculum. And uh, this month we are doing Jump Ball, Finding Peace in the Madness. Now our bottom line is peace, proving you care more about each other than winning the argument. And uh, our key phrase this, this week will be, prove you care more about others by letting go of what's fair. So we're gonna have a lot of activities for our K1 friends that are not quite fair. Um, so some of our kids will do well with this and some of them will get frustrated. So try to gauge where they're at so you don't lose a couple of these kids. All right, so the first thing we're going to do um, is called stay in the pasture. So you're gonna have a beach towel in the middle of the floor and all of the kids are gonna pretend they're sheep. And so they're gonna roam around on all fours or whatever you think will work for this group. And when you snap your fingers or clap your hands, they must come back to the pasture. Now, as you continue this game, you are folding the beach towel so it's getting smaller. So fewer and few kids or sheep can make it back to the pasture. And you're going to let them know it's just too bad that they don't all fit. I know that's a really bad joke. Anyway, um, and talk about how it's not always fair. All right, bring them on into the junction. We'll do our worship time and our video lesson. And when you take them back, you're going to play a game called Shoe Shoots. Say that 10 times fast. So you will have a thumbs up and a thumbs down uh, picture. And you're gonna have two hula hoops. You're gonna put these out in the middle of the floor, put thumbs up in one and thumbs down in the other. Ask the kids to sit in a circle around them and take off one shoe. Now, this will work out really good for those of your kids that don't have stinky feet, but you will probably find a odor. It'll be great. We'll probably put a hand of Lysol in your room just so in case it gets a little overwhelming, especially if there are snow boots involved. So uh, look for that can of Lysol. Anyway, you're going to ask some questions about the lesson and you're going to see, and they're gonna vote by tossing their shoe in the yes, that was correct, or no, that wasn't correct. So uh, today's Bible story was found in the book of Genesis. Was that true or was it false? It's actually true. Our story is coming out of Genesis 13, uh, verse five through 18, and it's Abram makes peace. Um, so have fun with that game. If throwing their shoes becomes an issue, have them place their shoe instead of using the word toss. All right, unfair timing. So you're gonna need a stopwatch. Um, if you don't have a timer on your phone, your classroom um, assistant probably does. And so have them time for you. And you are going to have these unfair time cards. 30 seconds, two minutes, five seconds. And you're going to split your class into two groups. And they're going to draw a time card, each group. And one could get five seconds and one could get 20 seconds um, to complete the following activity. And you'll have a list of activities like sing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star or do 10 jumping jacks. And they're working to earn points. Whichever team gets the most points at the end wins. And again, it's rigged. So the whole point of this is to prove you care more about others uh, than to, and let go of what's fair because obviously you can't sing in five seconds. So this will be um, a little trickier for some of our kids. Like I said, watch them so they don't get too upset. All right, the next one is Sticky Pass, and you're going to uh, go over the Bible verse. So you've got uh, rolls of colored duct tape. Everybody's going to need to put it sticky side out on their hand. And what you'll do is you'll pass the beach ball from one kid to the next. So uh, one, the first child will say the first part of our memory verse, uh, which is so we can do all to live, oh, I'm sorry. Um, so, yes, so let's do all we can to live in peace. Now, they'll bring the ball up to the next kid who has sticky tape on their hand, and they'll say the back half of the verse, which is, and let us work hard to build up one another. So they'll pass the ball all the way around. And again, this is a way to get that memory verse hidden in their hearts, which is what we want. Um, and this memory verse is found Romans 14, verse 19. So have fun with that. All right. Guys, we could not do this without you. You've got a lot of activities. You may have to pick and choose what you do, but have a fun time with them. Again, we couldn't do this without you.